morning guys. Here we are hitting the beginning of the trail at Dog Mountain. Um, we are east of Bonneville Dam, which is east of Portland along the Columbia River. I think we're actually right along what's called the Wind River. But uh, this is a pretty steep trail for the first little bit of it and then flattens out a little bit and goes to the peak. This will be the first real mountain that we've climbed. Go ahead. Uh, technically we climbed to the top of Mount Tabor but that's like a park in the middle of Portland. <laughs> so this will be our first real trail. It's hard to see how steep it is but it is steep. It is steep. So, this is about a, I don't know, five hour trail or so. Um, but it's a good training trail and it's supposed to have some amazing views about halfway up. So, we're going to hike up, have some lunch, and then hike down. It's the mountains like this that make you wish there was a giant slide on top to get down to the bottom. All right, looks like it's getting a little rocky, so I'm gonna sign off and just hike along, take some pictures. See you halfway up. mountain trail that was a butt burner it was really steep but we plateaued at the first junction we're a little less than a mile up and this has turned into some thick woods this segment is supposed to take us up to a viewpoint at about 1600 feet um, that'll give us some really nice views breeze is nice it's uh, about 62 degrees but after heading up that steep incline um, we're starting to build up a little bit of sweat so we've peeled off our outer layers on the t-shirts but uh, the breeze actually feels really good I can't imagine doing this in like 80 90 degree weather um, all right beautiful beautiful forest you surviving bud <laughs> you're doing all right we'll take a break right up here okay all right, see, the trail looks nice and sloping up here. It's deceiving, though. It's still a pretty, uh, pretty leg-cramping little ramp. All right, take a break for a sec and hit back at it. Halfway up, right up ahead of us is the first lookout at about 1,600 feet. Puppy ridge. We're going for, yeah. It's a good way to get people to climb to it. It's, um, we're going for about 45 minutes or so. It is pretty intensely steep. Um, but this area is beautiful. You can see the trees here. Hey. How you doing? Beautiful, old growth. And it's a real pretty clear forest. A handful of hikers have passed so far. 
Not crowded at all. This is I'm, actually a beautiful trail. I'm here for scale. You're here for scale. Let's see. Winter scale. Yeah, the trees. Let's see, it's bigger than Liam. Well, yep. look how high up there. It's high. It's all it goes. <laughs> Incredible. If you listen, you can hear some of them actually creaking as the wind blows. It's pretty cool. All right, on to lookout and the second half of the trail. Let's Looking hit it. <laughs> Looking for Bigfoot. feet from the top 700 vertical feet and we're gonna give you a little perspective how steep this is I'm actually holding the camera perfectly perpendicular to sea level okay. down there is down so if I just hold it straight at sea level you can see that's up <laughs> so that's perfectly flat and that's up it's about the incline of a staircase, a little bit less, it's not 45 degrees, uh, maybe 35, but it is like walking an endless staircase to the top. Oh. All right, 700 feet, can we make it? 700 feet, come on. I see the highway. I know, you can barely through the trees kind of see the river and the mountains across. But if you look up, way up, you can see where the trees start to clear just past the break points. And I think that's the summit because we should be about half a mile what? of trail. I can't even, yeah. the entire bottom is buried. Yeah, the trail's a little muddier here, although not too slippery, and less rocky. But uh, getting close. All right, I'm gonna hike. Let's focus on the trail. All right, we're almost to the summit. It's uh, right up that trail, and I think the summit's up there. But one thing that's amazing is, if you look across the gorge, you're almost eye level with the peaks on the other side, and way higher than that one we saw earlier that was in the river. We are way above. Look at the cloud up there. Yeah, and if you look, the summit, it's actually, that's cloud clouds are scraping the top so the almost there <laughs> that's gonna be a, a few nice, hundred feet that's gonna be a nice cool down uh, then we're gonna take a break and have some lunch oh. yeah, I'm gonna look you too. all right you do this a few more feet a few more feet 10 more steps 10 more steps right Liam 10 seconds at a time, 10 seconds at a time. we can do it
All right, guys, hey, tried to live stream a little bit ago and uh, sound was bad, so I wanna give one more quick, quick video here, but we made it to the summit. The view is incredible. Clouds roll in every so often, you can't really see anything, but we are 3,000 feet up, it's pretty credible. We're gonna head here. There's a little bit more trail that goes up. We're gonna see if we're gonna get to the actual summit, like the highest peak point, but uh, we're pretty high up, so. Let me show you where we're at. Let me check that out. Is about a thousand foot drop. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. All right, we're gonna head back into the thick, and then we're gonna start going down. So we uh, spent a little bit up on the roof, <laughs> uh, up at the summit. It was really windy, actually kind of chilly because we were in the clouds. Go ahead, Liam. We went to the geological summit too. Oh yeah, there's a big flat or flat-ish area <laughs> where a lot of people will go. That's where they hang out and uh, take pictures. It's actually the best uh, viewing point, but we climbed up in the trees behind that to actually get to the tallest part of the mountain. And uh, so that we can say we've actually summited it. But uh, we, we, we didn't climb in a tree, we just went no, around. We just went around it. But now we're going down, hitting the descent phase. Hey guys, the descent is deceptively difficult. So on the way up, it's all muscle. You climb what feels like endless stairs, and your heart is pounding, and your legs are burning, and it's exercise. And you think, oh, I can't wait till we're going down. The problem is, going down, especially going down very steep, like we are right now, it's, uh, it's a little precarious. So the fields that we climb down, going down the, from the summit, it's all pea gravel and pebbles. So when we tried to hike down the really steep, you slip a couple of times and you slide like 10 feet before you catch yourself on something. So once you make it past that, the hard part we're facing here is while it's dirt and, and uh, pine needles, it's steep. So it starts to really hurt your knees and you start to uh, feel the pounding on your knees as you're going down. So the good thing is we've got hiking stick and trekking poles. You put those down in front of you to try and soften some of the impact to your knees. And it helps a little bit. It also helps, believe it or not, if you are on a slow enough slant, you can run down it. Although we're a little tired. I'm not running anywhere. All right, we'll make it down. 